is on in the Boston Stakes. Beautiful star for Class Photo who springs right to the front. As they go by the wire the first time, it's Class Photo a length and a half. wine Collector in a jam working over from the outside. Going to get to the two path as they run into turn one. Length and a half more back to Crystal Quest. In the Live Oak Plantation colors, running along fourth. Fulmineo's between horses down to the inside. Catalina Strike, Oishi, those three line up at the back. They run through that first quarter mile. It's Class Photo and Jorge Vargas Jr. to set the tempo. Class Photo out of the back stretch, three quarters of a length to In a Jam, who's in hand in that second position, 24 and three over this soft going here at Colonial Downs. It's Class Photo still the leader. In a Jam, a length back second. Down at the inside, Wine Collector is racing third. Out in the clear for Crystal Quest, fourth right now. Fulmineo continues to travel in between horses. Now is between Crystal Quest and Wine Collector, though, as Oishi stays out three deep in second last. Catalina Strike is the trailer, but only five lengths cover the group as they run to that far turn. The opening half clocked at 49 seconds flat. Class Photo now just a neck in front is in a jam, getting closer on the outside. Crystal Quest given the cue from back in third, a length off to now two leaders up front as in a jam pokes the nose in front. Class Photo tries to counter back to the inside. Crystal Quest is after that. Fulmineo is back fifth right now, still about three and a half behind. Oishi in behind that one as they turn to the top of the stretch in a jam trying to get by class photo who's stubborn crystal quest trying to come after them now now fulmineo starting to get on track down the center of the course here comes fulmineo charging after crystal quest and in a jam fulmineo out in the center crystal quest between horses in a jam third to the inside fulmineo grudgingly going to the front crystal quest back to second fulmineo and crystal quest fulmineo to win it crystal quest was second third was close might have been wine collector getting up over in a jam it is a photo for third To the James W. Murphy. And Tokayo flashes his early speed, and speediness does too. And these two are out to the front, with Naptown away running in third. And then it's Buck and Dreamer to the outside. Break of two to Abramar, outside of Crystal Quest, who's on the rail. Fulmineo is third last early, about ten lengths off the lead in the initial stages. Massif, second last, Echo Lane, is the trailer. So it will be speediness to make the pace here as they race onto the back stretch to a 24.9 opening quarter mile. Tokayo taking in hand to sit second by two. Naptown is third. Bucket Dreamer fourth on the outside by a length and a half over Abrumar, who's outside of Crystal Quest. Fulmineo is on hold, racing about seven lengths from the front. Then Massif and Echo Lane continues to race at the rear of the field behind Speediness and Tokayo. And Speediness leads by over a leg. Look at that half. 52.03 seconds. That's extremely slow over this soft going. There in front by a length over Tokayo running along in second. Buck and Dreamer follows in third. Fulmineo edging up closer. Gonna go wide while well, Naptown is gonna save some ground here. Just three lengths off the lead. Speediness and Tokayo. And Fulmineo and Flopping and Pratt on the move now as they come to the top of the stretch. Naptown cuts the corner in fourth as they arrive at the final furlong. Fulmineo forging to the front and taking charge by three. Crystal Quest making progress on the inside into second. Late run from Abramar on the outside. Then it's Masif. Fulmineo rolls home to the James W. Murphy. Crystal Quest was second. Then Abramar and Masif. Mile and eighth, they're off. Up here to clean break. Sports editor Night Out has early foot as well. And St. James the Great after a sharp break is taken back a little bit. St. John's uh, in between horses, sharp tones in tight there and tugging along as they push toward that turn run. Now St. James the Great settles about uh, six or seven lengths off the pace around that turn. Home school is out wide and so too Sagrada Ray. In the meantime, Fulmineo has saved ground in the first turn, improving a spot or two now within five lengths of the speed. In the back of the pack of generals, duty and mission men. And trailing the field. Nine lengths covers front to back. Sports editor looks like an even pace for sports editor leading the way from sharp tones closest in second. St. John's on the inside in third. Home school is in fourth. Night out is patient in between horses in fifth. Fulmineo still on the inside. Sagrada Ray. St. James the Great has seven to come now. And back to General's duty. Racing back of the pack with Mission Man on the inside of that one. Heading into the far turn run. Sports editor to catch. Sports editor from Sharp Tones. Home School third and St. John's on the inside fourth. Night Out asks for more run from fifth and Fulmineo still six lengths 
off of Sports Editor, who kicks on. Sports Editor trying to dispose of Sharp Tones, with Sharp Tones there on the outside running a big one. St. John's is third on the inside. Homeschool is in fourth. Night out is fifth. Fulmineo is sixth, just off the inside now. St. James the Great is next, followed by Sagrada Ray and Mission Man on the inside. Into the stretch for a long and a half left to run. Sports Editor set down. Sports Editor with St. John's charging hard on the outside, and Fulmineo's off the inside now. Third, but a lot to do. Sports Editor. Sports Editor has the stamina under Jamie Rodriguez. Sports Editor. Fulmineo finishing off there with St. John's in the front of her second. And night out over St. James the Great. Se fueron uh, los participantes del Colombia Stakes y por dentro Cuoca, también Rose Collector, son los que vienen a buscar la delantera. Sin embargo, es exigido el Principito, viene también a terciar en la lucha junto al número 8, el ejemplar Full Nelson. Es el Principito con esa gringola azul, el que viene a dominar la competencia. Rose Collector se abraza al riel, se coloca en el segundo, en el tercero prefirió relajar Sammy Camacho a Full Nelson y quedarse detrás de los punteros. En el, cuatro vemos al, en el cuarto vemos al del Don Alberto, el número uno, Cuoca. Quinto, se acerca el tordillo, Ine Jam. Vemos tratando de levantar ahí a, a el número 9, el jineta Jorge Ruiz con Tocto, teniendo problemas detrás. Después se está corriendo por el lado exterior de la pista Fulminio, penúltimo está el favorito Move to Go y en el último lugar Two Ghost, 23-2 los primeros 400 metros y Rose Collector, no le dan tregua al frente, el principito sigue presionando por fuera, al tercero avanza ahora el número uno Coca, en el cuarto lugar está el número 8 Full Nelson, quinto se mantiene el 9, ese es el ejemplar Toc Toc por fuera y Jam está a unos 5 cuerpos de la delantera cuando pasaron en 46-4, los 800 metros Fulminio trata de descontar hasta unos 7 cuerpos, a 8 Move to Go y a unos 10, se quedó Two Goals en el último lugar, se acercan ya a la última curva del Colombia Stakes desde Tampa Bay Downs, es Full Nelson el que aprieta el paso y viene a dominar la carrera en entrada de la recta final, atropella por fuera el tordillo y Jam también trata de acercarse Fulminio y también empieza a mejorar ahora el número 3, Move to Gold, se disparó al frente con tres cuerpos, el número 8, Full Nelson vuela Move to Gold por el lado interior de la pista y por fuera Fulminio, se mantiene el número 8, Full Nelson se los ganó, Full Nelson en el Columbia Stakes 2024 Full Nelson con Sammy Camacho para Kikito Ángelo logran otra victoria clásica.